All right, hey everybody, Kenny here. So if you've been watching a lot of my videos recently and I've been kind of breaking them up into different uh, videos showcasing my water cooling adventure with this uh, new water block, new RTX 3070. Um, if you saw my one video here, I've been getting some outrageously warmer temps using this water block than I was air cooling it. And I think that stems from me being lazy and not wanting to open up a fresh thing, a thermal paste, and just reuse some of the other stuff I had laying around. And so I did that. And I think that kind of cost me um, a lot of time and performance. Uh, if you saw, it was 70 plus degrees Celsius while gaming, and that's not okay. The, the, car, the, old, <laughs> the air cooled card was 60 degrees Celsius. So I said, screw it. Let's get some high end thermal paste. Let's get Cryonaut. I've never used it before. I wanted to use it. Cryonaut. Ooh, here it is, right? Um, and so far, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, it turns out really, it works really good in my situation. It dropped the temps from the crappy thermal paste, which is only three, three something watts to the meter Kelvin versus this stuff, which is 12. Uh, Cryonaut's 12 watts to meter Kelvin. So you get like four times the performance. Insane, right? So in the same exact scenario that I was testing the other stuff, um, the original build, I was getting, what, 70 degrees Celsius. Now I'm down to 45 degrees Celsius, which that's a humongous drop. So comparatively to an air-cooled card, I was getting uh, the air cooler, the stock cooler on the MSI Trio RTX 3070 was 60 degrees and sometimes a little higher, depending on what I was doing, but it would hover around 60 degrees on the load. So it dropped water cooling plus that thermal paste, dropped it a whole whopping 15 degrees um, from the stock cooler, which is impressive on its own, I think. Um, I mean, so far I've been just fine using the water cooler. I could have been just fine using the air cooler, but I got a nice three radiator set up in here. Might as well use the <laughs> the water block and the water cooling until I can actually get 3080 or whatever that I actually do want. So, but yeah, a lot of uh, the Cryonaut seems to be a great product. It works. It's working really well with this water block and my loop. And yeah, drop the temperatures greatly. I would highly recommend it. Um, at uh, <laughs> At the price point of you know 12 bucks i think i paid for it on amazon it's a little steep i guess for the one little gram that you get but you know totally usable um for a couple at least probably you know i might repaste the cpu in here with it too uh i don't remember what thermal paste was on there but i might just repaste that with that and see if i can get a whole suite of uh performance gains um in a later video, I'm still doing some benchmarking with this uh, water block and stuff. So I just kind of want to make a, an update on that as well. That will come in the future. Um, but hopefully I don't have to spoil anything. I'm not seeing a whole lot of headroom um, on this card, water cooling it versus this. And I'm sure it's not temperature related really, because when I am when I was benchmarking stuff, 40 degrees Celsius, way to go cry on that. <laughs> It's even cooler than when I was gaming. So um, yeah, it seems to be more related probably again to power like most of these cards are. I don't think it's really necessarily temperature because it's pretty pretty cool. Cryonaut did a really good job, but we'll get there. We'll get some of these benchmarks rolled out uh, after, I, after again, I was struggling a whole hell of a lot with the water block and using the wrong thermal paste and the flow direction thing, which in my case did apparently matter. Um, yeah, so far we're going in the right direction now. We've got the temperatures under control, the water block is working properly, and we're getting better temps finally with the water block versus when I first installed it in the 70 degrees, 70 plus degrees Celsius. So that was just obscene and ob obnoxious. So we're doing better. I want to say thank you to everyone that has been watching my channel and sticking with me through all this. Um, I appreciate you a whole bunch. Cryonaut, awesome stuff. Totally would recommend it if you need an extra boost. Um, I don't know if there's anything better out there than that. There's some other thermal paste I saw on Amazon that were right around the same watt meter Kelvin. 
and roughly the same price, different brands. Um, but yeah, looks like I got a good brand or a good uh, a good crown up uh, because yeah, the temperatures went plummeted. So I did not get scammed on that front. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you still enjoy hanging out on my channel. I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you. Appreciate a lot. So take it easy. If you're new here, make sure you consider subscribing. Otherwise, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Um, Crown Nut, can't recommend it enough. Did a great job, doing a great job. And uh, yeah, I guess I don't have a whole lot of long-term stuff. I'm sure you can find that else, elsewhere on YouTube, but my two cents, Crown Nut, good. Crown Nut, very good. Worth the money in my use case. <laughs> Take it easy, everybody. Thanks for watching.